हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज योर नरेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कुक फास्ट इन माय अर्लियर वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ चोक्स एंड व्हाट आर द मटेरियल्स ऑफ चोक्स सो इन दैट आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट वी आर यूजिंग टू टाइप मटेरियल चोक फास्ट एंड काश एंड चोक सो इन दिस वीडियो i am going to tell you what is choke fast and why it is preferred over cast iron choke and after that we'll see the cast iron chokes and compare it with the choke fast and after that i will tell you how the choke fast is installed okay and after that we'll see what are the advantages and disadvantages of the choke fast so let's begin to the video and please remain tuned to the end of this video so first let's start what is a choke fast the question is asked what is a choke fast a choke fast is a epoxy resin which is used as a replacement of the cast iron choke in modern engine so as i have told you in modern engine we are using this epoxy resin choke why because of several advantages let's see it is first economical okay means it is cheaper in nature second 100% contact area as we will see that in cast iron chalk the 80% contact area was achieved but in here 100% contact area with the bed plate and foundation plate is achieved third thing is the skill labor is not required but as we have seen that uh, we need to ensure that it the engine is correctly aligned and the position of the choke should be perfect so that the skill labor is required in cast iron choke but here the skill labor is not required okay the corrosion resistance so the cast iron is subjected to corrosion but it is not subjected to corrosion because it is made up of epoxy okay and the con time consumed for putting the epoxy chalk fast is less the surface need not need to be machine flat surface as it is a very much requirement for the cast iron chalk machine flat surface not required easily replaceable if damaged and it can be easily replaced if it get damaged the section is need to be cut and new section in need to be placed so it is very easy to replace as compared to a cast iron chalk which can be a costly affair so let's see the cast iron chalk as you can see this is a cast iron chalk means here the is provided the cast iron chalk required 80% contact surface area but it has some advantages also what advantage is that it have a good shock absorbing property and therefore it dampen the vibration and it also has a good bearing load capacity but the thing the problem which occur is as i have told you this okay time consuming machine flat surfaces properly alignment skill labor all this are the problem which has come to the cast iron choke and subjected to corrosion so that it get eliminated and the epoxy resin chalk are installed the the main advantage is of the chalk fast is that it easily replaceable if damaged and the second thing is that it doesn't require machine flat surfaces so these are the main important point now let's see how this chalk fast is installed so here i am going to tell you how the chalk fast is installed before reading it out let's see the component of the choke fast so this is the holding down bolt and this blue section is you can see this is the bed plate okay and this is the foundation plate with a double bottom and this is a side choke and this is a where the resin choke the choke fast is implemented or poured okay now when we compared with this diagram the thing we found is almost same the only this cast iron choke is replaced with this epoxy resin choke so let's see how it is been installed choke fast is epoxy resin based so it is poured in a mold or a dam made and left for a period of around 24 hour to solidify so what do i mean by that as we know that a choke fast is made of epoxy resin a dam a dam is provided a dam is provided and after that the choke fast is poured on this dam and it is laid for a 24 hour period of time 
to get solidify after that okay but before making the dam putting the epoxy resin choke in a dam we need to make sure certain thing what are those first but before pouring the chook fast it is important to make sure that the engine is properly aligned means the same thing which we are doing with the cast iron choke that before installing the cast iron choke we are ensuring that the engine is aligned same thing we need to make sure for the resin choke also okay after ensuring that the engine is aligned and mold are made it is poured okay now one thing we need to keep in mind that the holding down bolt okay this holding down bolt this holding down bolt can be installed either before or after if let's see the first scenario holding down bolt are either installed after pouring and bolt are surrounded by a wooden plug so if the holding down bolt is been installed after pouring the resin chalk then the whole area is need to be surrounded by the wooden chalk so that it doesn't get in the whole diameter area so, or if the holding bolt is already in place in that case the area is need to be greased to prevent the sticking of the epoxy resin choke so this is how the choke fast is installed and it required a period of 24 hour to solidify not only it requires such for 24 hours to solidify it also require a temperature of around 25 degrees celsius okay and that temperature should be provided promptly during that 24 hour period of time now let's see we are going to see what are the disadvantages of the choke fast means everything has its own advantage and disadvantage means as we have seen the chalk cast and choke has the advantage of good shock absorbing and the damping property but it has a disadvantage of several as we have seen here okay so now the choke fast has also disadvantage what are the that choke fast has lower vibration damping capacity as compared to the cast iron choke okay so the damping property uh, of uh, choke fast is less than the cast iron now choke fast require 100 percent contact surface area as you know the cast iron require only 80 percent of the contact surface area for efficient operation it required 100 percent contact surface area the choke fast get damaged if the temperature exceed more than 60 degrees celsius that is the most important point that if the temperature of the choke fast around increases more than 60 degrees celsius it may get damaged so we have to make sure that the choke fast which is installed is the temperature around should not increase more than 60 degrees celsius if it increases in case of a fire in the engine room in that case the engine alignment need to be rechecked and we have to again make sure that the choke fast if alignment is not proper we have to reinstall the choke fast the fourth thing is that a choke fast require greater area for the same load as compared to the cast iron as i have told you cast iron has a good load bearing capacity but choke fast is made up of epoxy it has a less load carrying capacity compared to cast iron so it requires a greater surface area now let's see in this slide which we are see, seeing this is the thrust resin choke okay in older engine the thrust bucket was provided but in new engine to accommodate the thrust the thrust sleeve with resin choke is installed okay as you can see this so i think you have a clear idea why are the disadvantage of choke fast how the choke fast is installed and how the cast and choke have advantages and disadvantages with compared to choke fast okay so let's see so you have got a clear idea about choke fast and the cast iron choke so i hope you like the video please do like and subscribe and please share and uh, please remain tuned to my upcoming video which will be going about the chokes or a rubber resilient chokes which we are installing in a four stroke engine for absorbing and damping the vibration image credit for this ppd gone to marinediesel.co.uk thank you friend